Jacob Christensen is a YouTuber who analyzes certain aspects of video games and goes by the username NakeyJakey. As weird as I feel recommending him to anybody who asks me who my favorite YouTuber is due to the design choice of his internet name, I've grown to love it just like I've grown to love him as a content creator and person on the internet. Having watched him for a year now, I'm truly impressed with every single aspect of his content. When it comes to watching YouTube videos, there aren't too many people that I'm impressed with when it comes to editing. Jakey is that exception. I'm always entertained by the final product of his editing skills. But in 3D, you got up, down, left, right, forward, backwards, slightly right, and diagonal. The pacing is always consistent. Game over. You died. Final round. Ganondorf. The timing of his jokes are great. He takes to the skies of Arcadia, which also has a terrible water level. The variety in editing tricks up the sleeve. Watch. It all creates a very fun visual experience to the viewer. You know, maybe I don't identify as default outfit Nico as much as black jacket featuring glasses Nico. The one aspect to his editing that I've always enjoyed every single time he's done it since it's done so well is his green screen. What? Jake utilizes this tool to his advantage by giving a reference to what he's talking about in the background while he sits on a magical floating exercise ball. Occasionally, the green screen itself becomes its own joke, adding to the entertainment. I don't like how these guys yeah, move yeah, diagonally. Yeah, Dude, yeah. turn it off. Turn it off. I said turn it off. If you're well aware, I'm a sucker for analysis videos. That being the case, I have to mention that Jake is very analytical. When death means starting over and enemies actually pose a very real and scary threat, the game world suddenly has a lot more weight to it. However, due to the style of his writing, it's not boring whatsoever, unlike 90% of analysis videos. Not to throw any shade, but uh, Blue made a video about this hot boy, and I feel like it didn't really do Jakey justice. Although very informative, it was yawn-inducing. Sawi. This hot boy, however, blends analysis and comedy very well, first by introducing a topic and then throwing in a visual or audible gag here and there to keep things interesting. Kinda like someone else, you know. Hmm. The jokes that Jakey makes vary in tone, style, and delivery. I will now structure these types of jokes in the form of bullet points since that's a joke that Jakey likes to use quite often. The categories are Fangirl Central Eye Candy Stealing Sound Effects from YouTube Mommy, I don't want to go to school BEEF SHAKES Why do I find Jakey's bullet points to be so funny? And this joke is getting really old now and my audience retention is dead, also hi mom! Jokes can definitely shape one's perspective about another person's personality. But if he's also a good boy and treats his fans well, he's most likely a genuine person, which I honestly believe Jakey is. Along with this hot boy succeeding in literally both of the definitions of personality, he's such a fun, geeky, likable, dorky, and talented person who I'm so happy has so much success already and who isn't stopping anytime soon. I don't believe he's a shady person whatsoever and have not heard any bad things about him at all, which is a great sign. One way this person shines through is in a place that I would have never expected his descriptions. I had to mention this because while at first I was skeptical since all of the YouTube experts are saying, you must have a description that explains your video so that way it can be picked up by the algorithm. Jakey does the exact opposite. And it's pretty funny to see. It's mostly just one sentence that ties in with the video, but you won't understand it until you've watched said video as to give a head nod to the people who actually read the description. As random and as nonsensical as that is, that is just one little aspect that I love about this guy. Another factor of showcasing his bizarre yet charismatic nature is the use of props. That's right, stinky! These would be his hot boy official chair, the PNG summoner, his electric rug, and the stolen sound effect synthesizer. Wow, I wonder what this section is gonna be about. Each one of these portray his personality in different ways, and they're all really great tools he uses to his advantage. Press start? Sure, I can do that. Oh, that sounds like a sword. The exercise ball, which I love so much, differentiates himself from the rest of the YouTube crowd. Who else do you know uses an exercise ball as a chair? Like, let's be real here. Who? Nobody. Nobody else. It's also just fun. I like it. The PNG summoner, although only being used in two videos, really helped spice up those videos and open the door to different jokes by adding an element that you would never expect. It was pretty funny to see one of his musical talents that I didn't even know about. His electronic rug, only used in his The Rise and Fall of Dance Dance Revolution video, was perfect for the topic at hand. Or should I say, at full? It was a great choice to add in the video. There, there was no question about that. The stolen sound effect synthesizer is only used in five videos currently. And those ones are some of his best videos by far. Oh no, I hope the zombies don't hear me coming. Bang, bang, stomp, stomp. It's such a great introduction if you haven't seen a single one of his videos because those videos are the ones where he shines the brightest. Typically, those ones start out with a musical intro. Pizza Hut. 
baby. I want that pizza hut. Which are great every time and are so catchy that I literally have one saved to my desktop right now. And that's the one thing Jakey has always been gifted in, music. Initially starting with rap reviews, which was first created in 2016, it only went for eight months. Jakey then started diving in to make more original rap songs and went by the name Jakey on Spotify. My personal favorite is Cafeteria, especially since the video is so intriguing. Eventually, he started incorporating more of his musical talent, unlike me, into his video game analysis videos. Jakey now does a monthly patron shoutout song at the end of his videos, where it's literally the names of his patrons put to a synthesizer. Shout out to my boy Johnny. Really entertaining to watch. While Jakey's content is mostly fun in games, there's a deeper side to him, which shows up in two different kinds of videos. The ones that deal with his experiences as a human being, and the ones about his milestones. The experience ones cover relatable topics that don't have to do with video games, but still adds a fun little spin for entertainment. Uh, what? <laughs> what? 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 There's a ghost in here! His milestone videos, however, go in a totally different direction, which I would have never expected. It's nice to know that Jakey knows how it feels like to get his heart broken. Getting your heart broken is the worst, and it feels like your dad's table saw relocated to your rib cage. Okay, actually that doesn't sound like too pleasant of an experience, but my point is, it breaks the barrier of a famous person when you can relate to him. It feels like you have more of a connection with Jakey, as if you just know him. Hey, uh... Do you want to grab a Capri Sun sometime? It answers the question, how does Jakey perform in real life situations? And shows us in the form of two videos. It reminds us that, hey, remember this famous person? Yeah, they're also mortal. When a YouTuber makes a milestone video, most of the time it's lighthearted and positive. What I described to you is not how Jakey makes a milestone video currently. I'm not referring to his old milestone videos since one of them was a joke, one of them was a house tour, one of them was a rap. I'm a drama 96 Civic like it's a brand new Bentley. Another one was a rap man, this rap boy loves his rap. Those videos are great, don't get me wrong. I love saying baby Jakey, but I love what he does currently. With this one, I haven't really written anything down. I'm just going straight from the heart. Jakey uses his milestone videos to tell personal stories about his life. As boring as that concept sounds, he always ties in video games somewhere, so you could argue that it doesn't go off brand. Not only that, but these videos build such a human connection that I feel like I'm sitting there with him while he's telling these stories. His video titled Dark Souls Saved Me talk about when he was in a really depressing place in his life and Dark Souls brought a light to his life. It's not filmed in his normal setup and it doesn't feel professional, but that's because this is Jacob we're listening to, not his persona. Thank you, Dark Souls. I even addressed my first reaction in comment form when I first watched this video six months ago. The other video titled When Bioshock Was My Only Friend made me cry. This was the video that made me realize I have a human connection with this person, even though I've never met him in my entire life. Stepping off the serious train now, I wanted to talk about how Jakey takes his personality off of YouTube. Sure, he posts the occasional tweet. Sure, he posts the occasional Instagram. But there's always one place that whenever he posts there, I always get super excited when I see a new addition to a story. Jakey has a great Snapchat personality. It's always something random, but funny. Some feature his dog named Bear, which is such a good doggo. Maybe if I'm lucky. And maybe if Jakey's having a good day, I'll get to see his cyber goth dance that day. The last last point about human connection has to deal with his profile picture. As a new subscriber, I always thought it was really weird how the profile picture is the child version of himself making a weird face. As a loyal and dedicated part of his notification squad, I now understand how he possibly chose that. The picture represents numerous things. His funny personality, the quality of his content, and the fact that he takes his job seriously as we can tell by the pixel quality of the picture, but is self-aware to not take it too seriously so that way he can have some fun with it. Well, I only turn my cheek on once he turned his cheats on. Before you waste your time commenting, I am self-aware enough to know that I'm analyzing a picture that probably means nothing, but to me, it means something. I hope you now understand why this guy is my favorite YouTuber and why I think it will be very difficult to have a new favorite. Now you understand that Jakey is the master at editing, joke writing, and analyzing content. He's very passionate about video creation and video games while also loving to make people aware about Pizza Hut demo discs. There were three Pizza Hut demo discs. In the words of Jakey, dog bless. Playing my video games all day. What you playing now? Oh, I'm playing.